It's time now to go Inside Innovation, brought to you by Allegiant, pioneering safety. Well, sensors created by engineers and researchers at Purdue University could help the Indiana Department of Transportation save millions of dollars each year. The researchers are collecting data through the sensors to track concrete strength development in real time. Here now to explain how the sensors work and how a collaboration with the Federal Highway Administration on a nationwide study could help implement the technology in other states is Purdue Associate Professor Luna Liu. And Luna, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. This is really fascinating technology because it gets at an issue that I think most of us can can relate to. You know, you're on the highway, you're on a road, you see the the, uh, the construction is essentially finished, but the road's not open. These sensors that you've developed and to put into concrete allows for real time tracking of strength. Talk about how really the concept here and how these work. So absolutely, we have been partnered with Indiana DOT and we developed this sensor. What happens is we directly convert mechanical properties such as strength into electrical signals so people can easily read it with the real time information. Mm -hmm. So therefore we can cut down the traffic. The engineers can decide when is the ideal time to open the traffic without delay and they can decide either when we're not open the traffic too early, so mm -hmm. then you ended up a frequently repair of the road throughout the year. So at the results, and can save millions of the dollars yeah. and uh, as cut down the traffic and also improve the job site safety. What, what, what's the real key here? Is it the real-time nature of this? Is that correct. what really solves the problem? Right, correct. Because this real-time data can tell you when they reach to the adequate strengths so you can make a better decision. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got a partnership, uh, I know, with the Indiana Department of Transportation that has been ongoing for some time now. Other states seem to be very interested in this technology as well. Oh, absolutely. Since this summer, we started implementing this sensor in Indiana. Three major interstate sectors 70, 74, and 465. So the, the other state has been very interested. And now Federal Highway Administration, it is sponsored nationwide study. There are state from California, Texas, Missouri, and Kansas are planning to join along with Indiana. Some other states, such as Louisiana and New York, has shown their strong interest. Yeah, so this technology, innovation from Purdue, indeed could go nationwide. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and it's, uh, it's on the way. Yeah, uh, and I should mention, and the timing is really uh, good for this for your parents on the show, the Center for Intelligent Infrastructure, brand new center that is just now launching at Purdue. This is the kind of technology that's going to come out of that, uh, that center. Oh, absolutely. So the mission of the center is to develop and deploy the technology such as this sensor to better communicate, let people communicate with our infrastructure, not only the road, but also the bridges, the airport. So our infrastructure infrastructure can be more adaptive to the human needs. Yeah, uh, amazing technology coming out of Purdue University, which could have very much have national implications and implications for infrastructure. Luna Liu from uh, Purdue, thanks for joining us. We look forward to following the story uh, in the months and years ahead. Thanks for having me. You bet.